All will face death on God's sovereign timeline. All will face death, but those who trust in Christ will find life through his resurrection. All will face death, but those who trust in Christ will find life through his resurrection. And I will end once again with this. Anyone in here, you, I don't have to say much. There's shootings almost every single week. Our hearts do not grow callous. But this life does not promise us anything. If you do not know Jesus Christ, or if you've just been playing a game with Jesus Christ, if you've just been going through the motions of coming to church, but you don't really believe, please, this morning, turn your heart and repent. Turn your heart to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. Jesus died for your sins. He rose again. Turn to him now. Don't leave here without turning to him. Some of you need to rededicate your life to Christ. It could be that you were never saved to begin with. It could have been just a religion thing. It could have been just going through the emotions. It could have been Sunday Christianity. If you, if you've been playing a game, if your Christianity is not real, rededicate your life to Christ. Some of you, you are saved, but you need to take your Christian life seriously, and it matters that you have all types of plans for your own life in this world, but might I remind you again that you can have the best plans, the best savings, the best endeavors, and you go out these four walls and something happens to you that you cannot control. Let it not be that the words came out from this pulpit, that you exit these four doors and did not take the opportunity to make sure, make sure that you're right with Jesus Christ because of true genuine faith, not by works. Some of you in here might be like, well, if I go out... If I go out these four walls in the horrible car accident, if I die, it's okay because I've done a lot of good things. I'm a pretty good person. I'm not that bad. But have you truly trusted your heart to Jesus Christ? You know, I'm going to come stronger and stronger every week. And some of you can be like, I don't want to come to this church anymore. That's okay with me. Some of you can be like, I'm sick and tired of pastors preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ and telling us to receive Christ. Well, that is the point of John's gospel, that you may be believe that Jesus Christ was the sent one, sent to die for your sins and rise again. And from conversations, various conversations that I've had, I know that in our church we've been too nice. I know that some of you are not genuinely saved. And we've been patient and we love you. But in a week like this, you don't know this week there's another shooting in a week like this, in a passage like this, when Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, I cannot hold back. Your blood is on this pulpit. If I don't tell you and I die, I go to heaven, Hebrews 13, I will give it an account for not being honest with you. Some of you are playing a game. You're playing a game with Jesus Christ. Some of you have been serving all your life, but you're not saved. Read my lips. Don't be offended by me. Listen to the invitation. Turn to the Savior. You do not have to be guilt, feel guilty. You do not have to be ashamed. You have to turn to him now.